Today I will show you how to make literally the best slide transition in After Effects. Yo, it's Povikas here, and yeah guys, today we will make an effect that's been getting way more popular nowadays. And also, if you're new to the channel, my name is Povikas and I've been a video editor for over 7 years now, and I also run the best video editing website called povikas.com, where I have insane video editing presets that you can literally drag and drop and get the best visual effects you could possibly get on After Effects. A really cool thing I've done on my website is I have combined all of the effects that I've ever made into one pack, and it is now on a huge sale, and the sale will not last for a long time so i would definitely recommend to go and check it out and the link will be in the description but anyways let's begin all right guys so here i have a clip from one and only ghost killer music video you can have whatever clips you want i'm just doing this as an example and we can instantly start making the effect so what we can do is press ctrl y to make a new adjustment layer and here we can press ctrl shift d and cut this adjustment layer into one frame all right and here let's add an effect called offset now this slide transition is not going to be really like a slide but it's going to look like a slide i don't know if you understand what i mean but you will understand what i mean very quickly so let's first shift this way more like let's say something like this that looks pretty good so that looks like a little bit of a slide as you can see we're already starting to make this and I'm going to do this transition between this clip and this clip. And as you can see, I actually have made a gap of three frames. So we're going to need to fill those frames, but let's not do that just yet. Let's also add here directional blur. And here, let's make the direction to 90 and the blur length to something like 36. I don't know, you can make it more, you can make it less, doesn't really matter. And now to actually make the slide transition look really, really cool, we need to add really random frames here, only three frames. So here I'm just gonna take some random frames from the clips here. So yeah, I have the clips from Ghost Killer Music Video. I'm gonna drag them below right here. I'm gonna take this frame and then go one frame forward, press Control Shift D to cut. I'm gonna scroll away a little bit. This is a really cool frame, press Control Shift D, delete that one, press Control Shift D. Uh, maybe let's have this as the first frame. Maybe let's have this as the last frame. I'm just doing something very random. All we need is random frames. So yeah, sure, we can take this frame as well. Whatever, why not? and let's press ctrl shift d and delete now we only have three frames and as you can see it already kind of looks like a slide right like that is almost something right there but to genuinely make it look really really good we need to press ctrl y make the adjustment layer into three frames as you can see for these three frames and we need to add directional blur and on the directional blur let's make this to minus 90 and the blur length let's just make it to 91 now why did we make it minus 90 because here it was plus 90 we need to make it different so it actually looks like something is happening and let's keyframe the direction and the blur length and here let's add a really saucy effect called a mini max and i'm just gonna make the radius something random like i don't know like 64 and go to direction and make it to just horizontal so that looks pretty cool and now we can go one frame forward and here guess what make the direction to plus to 90 so pretty much plus 90 and make the blur length like 50 maybe let's just drop it a bit and go to the last frame and here let's make the direction to minus 90 and the blur length let's make it to 20 so the blur length always keeps getting smaller but that's gonna look really really good and let's actually take this frame that we had press ctrl d and go to the last frame right here and here let's make the blur length a bit higher it's gonna look pretty cool and make the shift to center something like 770 it needs to be the different direction so what we have pretty much just done is faked a slide because it looks like it starts like this and it ends like this now if you want to enhance the slide a little bit more what you can also do is you can press ctrl y and on this adjustment layer add transform and make the scale at the start like let's say 100 23 something and go to the ending right here and make the scale to 100 press u to see all of the keyframes select the keyframes press f9 go to the graph editor and make the graph something like this make it very very sharp 
and this is how our transition looks which is really really cool you might think something is missing if you think that something is missing you can also press ctrl y and on this layer we can go to animation presets user presets and we can use one of my best packs that i've ever made which is impact presets which is also included in my all packs bundle and here we can add shake chaos now this is going to be a really big shake effect and this is how it will look now really really cool but we need some more clips after this so let me just drag all of these layers next to other transition i've already pre-made this but i want to show you a quick little thing you can do as you can see here i also did the method of having three random frames completely super random i completely duplicated the whole thing we just made by the way and it goes to the next clip and here what we can actually do as you can see there are two frames that are nothing we can press ctrl d on this clip and bring the start so it could almost look like a starter and this might actually look even cooler now as you can see it kind of like restarts like this and it looks like a really cool slide i mean i don't know i think this might actually right here be the best slide transition in all of after effects sure let's just have it like this then i have another slide transition and another slide transition all i'm doing is just repeating the steps i did here and maybe after this one we can press ctrl y and i'm gonna show another example if you think something is missing you can always just go and just press on chroma distortion for example from the impact presets and you will have this which is going to look really really cool oh and at the ending we can also press ctrl y and here you can have something like extreme ripple for example and here we go we have pretty much made it as you can see everything just combined like a masterpiece i don't know this might actually be the best light transition to off and all of after effects i don't know what could be really better if you have any suggestions on how to make this even better like let me know i don't know what i could have done any better oh yeah also guys a really cool thing if you use code povicas at the checkout you will be able to save five dollars off on the impact presets pack as a little gift for watching these tutorials and supporting the channel but anyways guys that's about it for the video if you have any questions then please let me know but anyway it was fun. Have a fun and productive day. See. You.